To choose a capacitor type, you should take into consideration fundamental differences between capacitors of different types, which in most cases makes it senseless to replace an electrolytic capacitor with a certain rated value and voltage for a ceramic capacitor of the same rated value and voltage. Let's briefly review the reasons for that. Frequency characteristics of capacitors depend on the relations of their impedance and equivalent series resistance to their frequency. The impedances of ceramic capacitors with frequencies above 1 kHz, impedances of aluminium electrolytic capacitors and impedances of tantalum capacitors with frequencies above 10 Hz differ significantly. This allows, in some cases, using smaller capacitance rated values to level volt triples in order to achieve the same effect. Here is the data about the differences in values of spurious sinusoidal ripples of various frequencies produced by capacitors of different types but with the same capacitance of 10 microfarads. Thus, the ceramic capacitor with the capacitance of 1 to 2.2 microfarad can be used to provide the same level of controlling ripples with 1 MHz frequency as a tantalum capacitor with 1 to 2.2 microfarad capacitance. Now let's review comparison curves of capacitor heating by ripple currents of different frequencies. Low equivalent series resistance and because of that low losses allow for high loads in ceramic capacitors despite their smaller dimensions than in electrolytic capacitors without causing a critical level of heating. Another advantage of uh, uh, their smaller sizes, we can see that their ability is to bear short time overload voltages, many times higher than rated values. Now let's see the comparison characteristics of breakdown voltage for different types of capacitors according to the results of the test conducted by the Murata company. Those who once tried to choose smoothing capacitors for SMPS know how it is important as when switched on or off they can produce pulses whose amplitude cover up for several output voltages. This requires the use of electrolytic capacitors with large supply voltages. Now some words about the drawbacks of ceramic capacitors. With all their advantages, ceramic condensers with a large capacitance are made of X7R, X5R and Y5V dielectric types. Diodielectric permeability and capacitance depends highly on the temperature and the applied voltage. Because of rather tough requirements for rated value consistency, for example, in time circuits, where the coupling of AC and DC components, only ceramic capacitors with a X7R dielectric may be recommended to replace the electrolytic capacitors. And this dielectric may turn out even more interesting as its range of allowable operating temperatures is from minus 55 to plus 125 degrees Celsius, which allows it to be used in the outdoor equipment of the northernmost countries, as well as in automotive equipment which has to operate under high temperatures. However, the constant rated value is not a critical parameter here for choosing smoothing capacitors. Thus, we can say the device based on ceramic Y5V that offers smaller and low cost parts may be still in very high demand for general producers and purchasers.